now I literally just spotted a deer right where I'm pointing just there there was a deer and then it leapt into the undergrowth on the left hand side I think if I slowly walk away then turn around it may just come out again but I know that deers are very very skittish and it's unusual to see deers at all in the Hobbox Nature Reserve. I've seen horses sometimes here, but never a deer. My word. A oh lord. I was almost going to say a prayer saying, Lord, can you please, can you please get this deer out into the open so I can see it? It would have made for a great video. My word, I wonder where it came from. That's the problem. If I had been recording at the time when it came out, then I would have caught it on video. But it went straight into that bush over there. It's somewhere in there. They are so, so skittish. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So gracious. I couldn't even begin to describe its beauty when I saw it. Literally, I just walked up from there and it's right there where my finger was. And I was just standing there staring at it for about maybe five to 10 seconds. And then it just leapt away into the undergrowth. It's such a shame. But I will carry on recording just in case it comes out again or if there's another deer nearby perhaps. But just me talking, although I'm not talking very loudly, it will only scare it away. So beautiful, so gracious and so elegant. It really, really was. Yeah. I feel a little bit disappointed. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to leap out of the undergrowth and start licking my phone or anything, but... <laughs> oh, my word. See, I just want to go over there. I'm going to carry on recording. Walk up here. And you never know, it might come out again. It just might, but I doubt it. It's going to be hiding in there. I wonder which direction it came from. I'm just turning around. No. Disappeared. I'm going to slowly walk down here. Still recording. There's no dog walkers out at the moment. And yes, this is the highest point of Arnold, Nottingham, where I live. This is the Hobbox Nature Reserve. In case you didn't know, in case you're not familiar with my channel. So beautiful. I've never seen a deer that up close before. Or I may have done perhaps at Wollaton Park many, many years ago as a child. 
but no, I don't think I was ever really that close to one. I'd say it was a few metres away, maybe... I don't know, it's hard to say. Maybe seven to eight metres away. It is a beautiful day, but it's starting to become overcast, as you can see. So I can feel a nice cool breeze on my skin right now as I walk down here. This is a place that I'm very, very familiar with. I used to come jogging here years ago in my early 20s and other places too. This was just one of my haunts where I used to like to go jogging. I thought I saw it. No, no. So hope. Oh my word. There we are. Can you see it? It's right there. It's out again. How beautiful. Right there, you see? Run point. Oh, start to focus a little bit. Run pointing. I don't need to point. You can see. I only wish that I could have recorded it closer up. Obviously, deers are nothing new to people. People know about deers. You can find deer videos everywhere on YouTube, but it's very, very unusual to see them out in the open in the hobbocks. It really is. What I'm going to do is slowly, very, very slowly walk closer to it, but I think it will just probably run off. It's a rather foolish decision, but... No, it will run. It will run, definitely. There you go. So we get a little bit closer. So, so skittish, and I believe their hearing is excellent. Can you see it? Look at that, so beautiful. Yeah. It's very much aware of my presence. gone oh no I don't know where it is but it's gone now such a shame I really wanted them up close well maybe 10 15 meters away if I could but it wasn't meant to be but yes yeah if you squint, you can just about see it right dead ahead. Yeah, it's just turning its head around. Wow. So unusual. In fact, there may be more than one, I'm not sure. Yeah. You know something? I think it's sitting on the grass. What I'm going to do is walk up the other way, the way I came. It'll probably run off. I'm going to stay quiet, as quiet as I can.
there's a reason why uh, people place those wildlife cameras in the wild and then they just leave them there recording because, because that is the best way of getting footage I believe correct me if I'm wrong down below in the comment section but I think that is the best way just to let them get on with it and wait for them to come to you me walking up here but it's probably felt my vibrations from the ground already it's probably already ran ran off into the undergrowth again behind those trees somewhere I think it is it's still laying in the grass yeah. the reason why I'm carrying on recording is because I just don't know it may just leap out at me any second but I doubt that's going to happen Anyway, I better end the video now. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye bye and take care.